My name is Mo Shamison, uh, B-Boy Motion Sickness, Skill Methods Crew, Tampa Bay, Florida. I grew up in Canada, and uh, my godbrother is DJ Pump. He's a decorated DMC champion of Canada. So growing up, we were just always around hip hop music and soul and funk music, and uh, we were just kind of the coolest guys around our city, you know? Hip hop wasn't really big in Canada, especially in Calgary. I mean, it wasn't even until a few years ago that we even had a hip hop station. So it was sort of this precious little thing that like, me and, me and the crew had, and uh, no one was dancing. Um, no one was hip-hop dancing, period, much less break dancing. So it kind of started off as this kind of funny game. Um, we, we, we just got into it because it was hip-hop and it was something that no one was doing. And uh, eventually, I think it came around a time in my life where I just needed something like that, sort of an expressive art, and uh, we started getting good. Eventually, we became like one of the better, better dancers in the province. Um, started getting well known around the country and it was a matter of time so we had to come to the U.S. and really step game up. The b-boy crew that I represent is called Skill Methods Crew. Uh, we're out of Tampa Bay, Florida, but uh, a lot of us live in L.A. now, um, L.A. and New York, and we're pretty much international at this point. Um, but originally the crew started in Tampa, Florida. Florida was really competitive in the late 90s, early 2000s. That was sort of the place to be um, as a competitive dancer. Um, I feel like the b-boy scene there, even still to this day, is, is, is kind of unmatched for the energy that it had. Um, we actually entered a tournament called Out for Fame, um, which is a, a West Coast based tournament and we did really well and uh, the word kind of got out, people, people really got into the crew and after that um, we started touring a lot, going to Europe a lot, Asia a lot, Korea, Japan, France, the UK, a lot of people wanted to see our style. We, we've done some really excruciating tours. I did a tour in the Middle East with Curtis Blow that lasted about two and a half months and we were in Afghanistan and Kyrgyzstan and you know. Uh, really just unbelievable parts of the world and, and, and you end up, I don't know, you end up really, really bonding with the fellas and like just learning, you know, you learn a lot about life on these trips. Um, but it, I mean, it's physically tough, cramming in these planes, getting off these planes, having to perform. I mean, the majority of my injuries usually come from touring, doing international stuff. But it's also cool to just see how far the dance has gone. Um, you know, to, uh, to see people breaking in, in, you know, in these small like satellite countries around Russia and stuff was is really just unbelievable and for people to know your name out there and just to see the reaches of this dance is it's pretty dope um, and to go to Korea and Japan and places like that and just see how much they're into it it's, it's pretty amazing you know competing in, in a lot of big name events used to be sort of what it was about it was kind of like getting out there and, and, and making a name especially in the competitive competitive realm you know our crew won UK b-boy championships and out for fame and freestyle sessions and competed ranked high in all these multiple competitions winning countless battles and stuff but those things come and go real quick I think I think the stuff that sticks around is sort of the connections you make um, with other crews and other dancers and, and the kind of the mark the page you leave in the book one thing I was always consistent with is I was a really hard worker um, I, I didn't get good fast but I was always getting better every time you saw me I was gonna be better and I stayed on top of it and um, I wasn't afraid to earn my stripes you know, so I was never really afraid to, to get down or battle anybody or, or to go out and do my thing. I think that's what brought me to the United States. When I came to the U.S., I originally I came alone. I just kind of one-way ticket to Florida um, with my suitcase. And I think those days really taught me a lot about myself as a man, just growing up and doing my own thing. But also as a dancer, just about taking control of it. And really, when it comes to performing, it's about doing that. It's about being confident enough and really just committing to that moment and just letting the music go through you. So. Um, I think those years really shaped me a lot and I thank my crew for that, um, for those opportunities.